Let, let me get something clear there. 103 operating nuclear reactors, commercial reactors in operation generating spent fuel waste. Is that a correct number? A correct approximation? I have 104 operating reactors, sir. All of these have <coughs> contracts for ultimate waste disposal with the federal government? Yes, they do, sir. And the numbers you're speaking of encompass only a limited number of those, as I take it. What percentage of the 104 have contracts that have been declared in breach? Virtually all of them, sir. They're Virtually all of them? Yes. And. And in addition to those, to the operating reactors, there are also 14 shutdown reactors, and those shutdowns are also covered by the standard contract. So all the operating and shutdown reactors, the 104 operating and the 14 shutdowns, are covered by the standard contract that were signed back in the 1980s. We have a fund of about $20 billion at this point in time for? The, the latest estimate we have, sir, is uh, it's, and we keep a running total of it, it's approximately $23 billion. Yes, sir. It takes in about a billion to a billion five annually? Approximately between 750 to a billion dollars, and we make uh, about a billion dollars in interest every year based on the investments that we, <coughs> the Treasury instruments that we invest in. So this fund, based on the numbers you gave us, is, is still growing then. You, you've, you've settled about five or six hundred million dollars worth of cases. And by the way, do these settlements, does the number you gave us in settlement amounts reflect the government's liability through a certain date, but not through the uh, completion of the full performance of full, full waste disposal? In other words, are, you, are they saying that we can establish as of this point in time we're entitled to and you're liable for waste cleanup, waste disposal, but beyond this date and time you've still got further responsibilities to go? Well, let me start and then make, maybe Mr. Hertz can fill in. The, the, the settle settlement agreements sir, basically are set up a continuous process where as a utility who has a, a settlement with the government incurs costs that are covered by the settlement, they come in. The are those are actual costs. You're, are you settling cases prospectively based upon the likelihood that the breach will be continuing or you simply take it to a date certain where they can demonstrate the actual costs that have been incurred and they sue for that judgment? The, the settlements are essentially open-ended and they will continue to come to the government with the costs that they've incurred due to the government's delay, and those payments will stop when the government has performed and caught up and picked up all the backlog that we've incurred due to the fact that we didn't start beginning uh, to begin waste acceptance in 1998. So basically it's, it's the, uh, under the settlement agreements, they come in every year with whatever costs or every two years, depending on when they incur them, it's evaluated, the Department of Justice makes a judgment, and then there is a, uh, a payment made from the, uh, the judgment fund. Mr. Carley, you had in your report an estimate that the $2,007, the, the cost of meeting all of the liabilities of the federal government would be about $98 billion to do all of the waste acceptance and I, th I think the most recent uh, life cycle cost estimate that was prepared by the department for the entire waste facility over its lifetime was about uh, $98 billion, nearly $100 billion to pay for everything in the waste project. It, it, if I could just supplement um, that comment, the, the, the $96 billion figure is the, are the total costs of the program that we, we issued last year with the assumption that Yucca Mountain was going to be built and all the costs to move the fuel there and to dispose of it are incorporated into that number. That number also in includes past costs of the program. So uh, roughly it's about $85 billion more uh, to complete Yucca Mountain. And but that assumes that you'll start accepting waste on 2020, doesn't it? Yes, it does, sir. And if it's later, it'll be more? The liability of the cost will be greater? Potentially, yes, sir. What is the uh, plan of DOD, DOE for Yucca Mountain while it explores other alternatives? Uh, 
my guidance, sir, is to uh, continue the licensing process through fiscal year 2010 and to support the Secretary's Blue Ribbon Panel, which is going to be looking at those issues uh, in terms of what the new policy alternatives are going to be. So that's the, we will continue the licensing process and support, provide support to that panel. And for that purpose, your budget request this year is about $34 million for 2010? Our the administration's request was approximately $197 million for, to fund the continuation of the licensing proceeding and also to support the Blue Ribbon Panel. Why does the licensing procedure cost that much money, close to $200 million? Is there a lot of R&D or experimentation, science, engineering connected with it? There are a lot of people, a lot of scientists, a lot of engineers that we need in order to uh, answer the questions of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and to prepare for the adjudicatory hearings that the NRC will hold in that process. So we need that core support, our, our federal support and our contractor support, in order to be an active participant in that proceeding. And does this keep your basic core competencies, your basic team together for your command? Yes, it does, sir. Are there any significant uh, job terminations because of the limited amount you're seeking for next year? Uh, no, sir. Uh, we've, we've gone through uh, substantial reductions in the past, but uh, into FY 2010, we don't anticipate uh, a, a substantial reduction. There may be some minor reductions, but uh, no substantial reductions, sir. Thank you very much. Mr. Simpson.